So I think the, the best would be that we move on with the next presentation, which is on user testing, because some of your questions that are ticking in, I'm sure Bobby uh, and Bamini will answer those in a minute. So just, you know, hold on. <laughs> I know you're anxious. Hold on. It will be coming. So Bobby, I want to hand over to you and I want to thank Flora and I hope Flora stays with us. Um, and then we want to hand over to Bobby first and then Bamini for the next presentation on user testing. So Bobby, over to you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Bobby Bashford. I'm uh lead on this work stream of user testing and migration for the ECMS. And uh, thank you very much, everyone, for participating. We have um, quite a lot of information for you uh, in the next uh, two sets of slides. Uh, first of all, Bamini will go through the user testing, and then Anaisa will go through the migration. And these are really the important points. We are, uh, you know, as George said, we are in our community testing now. We are, uh, we are uh, trying to open up as much of the functionality as we can for you. And that is what we will go through now in these slides. So first, if we look at the planning slide, uh, you can see here, Flora already went through it. We can look at it in a little bit of depth. If you see, we are in the, the community testing phase 2C. You can see here that uh, CLM and T2S are connected to ECMS in our pre-production environment, the environment that the counterparties are testing in. Uh, what's very important is coming up is that we will, at the end of January, we will open up further functionality to you. Bamini is going to go through it uh, piece by piece. The important point here is that today we are still working on how much of the functionality we can open and that this will be made clear in the testing conditions document. Now we will speak to you about documentation for the testing. Your Bible, if you like, is the testing, the testing conditions document. And this is the one that you will need to. It's on the ECB site. It's constantly being updated. And this is the one that you will need to uh, to look at. So Bamini will go through what is going, to, what is currently can be tested, what is going to be opened up end of January, what is going to be up opened up end of February. She will go through the restrictions, but this is only on a high level. You will need to go back onto the ECB site and look in the constantly updated testing conditions document to see if there are any restrictions to the functionality that we will open up. We're looking to open up as much as we can. The 4CB are working very hard delivering uh, fixes to our environment. So this is the current planning. The, another very important point is uh, the non-repudiation non of origin, the Assertia Go Sign desktop. Family will speak to you about that. It's very important that you have installed the correct version before we open up this functionality to you. We are currently testing it internally, and we will let you know about the date that we plan to open it up. It will be inserted in the testing conditions document. Your NCB, your National Central Bank, your National Service Desk will also make you aware. And your NCB is your main point of contact at all times throughout this process. So these are the two in the plan. If you look, these are the two uh, uh, milestones, if you like, end of January, end of February, where we're going to open up uh, further functionality. You can see in mid-April that we disconnect from CLM and T2S. This is because our uh, T2S colleagues need to be able to test in a production-like manner for the June release. So during April and May, the T2S community and the T2 community are testing CLM and testing T2S in the manner in which it will be in June, which is not connected to the ECMS service. And for that reason, that's why we disconnect. And that is why we will reconnect then in June after the go live of the release 2024 in T2, after the go live of release 2024 in T2S. So then in June, we will reconnect. What you need to look at in June is a very important uh, testing phase or testing uh, activity, which is the business day testing. This is where we will run a live timing schedule. So it will be the same schedule as is run in production. As you know, now in the test environment, we don't run the operational day or the business day in a, in the, in the production manner. We run it with a different uh, uh, the, the end of day process takes takes uh, place a little bit earlier in the day. This will not be the case during this business day testing. So please be aware that you will have production like conditions in terms of the schedule here during July and August. And this is a very important point. And then later, Anaisa will speak to you about the upcoming tests. These are very important. The migration tests we have. Uh, we have a pre-test. We have the migration weekend dress rehearsal where we carry out the activities of the weekend 
in the same manner as it will be carried out on the go-live date. These are important tests for us, and Annie Issa will explain why. But this is really what you need to know, everything about the, the upcoming functionality that we're going to open. I'll hand you over to Bamini now, and she will go through it. Okay. Uh, thank you, Bobby. Uh, thank you, uh, all of you, and and uh, good morning. Yeah. So here, um, thanks. Uh, I think that was a good overview of all the testing phases uh, uh, on the community testing phase. So with that overview, I would actually go now to the next uh, uh, few slides. Here we will discuss uh, about uh, in in detail about the scope uh, that is currently be, being open for testing, and then the scope uh, functional domain scope that would be opened in the future in the next couple of months for testing. Yeah. Uh, so with that one, then the first. Uh, slide here what you see here this uh, gives an overview of the functionalities that have already been opened for uh, testing yeah so with that one the first thing is on the reference data so here you see the reference data marketable assets um, uh, testing and then the glo global credit and collateral uh, positions cashes collateral um, and uh, here uh, all these four uh, domains have been uh, opened yeah fully uh, when then when come to credit, credit claims we still uh, and the monetary policy operations uh, the, the all the full scope uh, is not yet opened uh, for uh, testing of the counterparties. Uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, we have opened partially uh, the domain, yeah, the credit claims where we have opened for registration and update functionality. And then for the monetary policy operations, uh, the uh, marginal lending on request and the automatic marginal lending, it's it's open for testing. Yeah. So this is where we stand as of now. So um, regardless of what you know, we, we communicate here, we always uh, request you to to, um, discuss with your uh, NCP uh, uh, counterparts and then uh, check with them for the green light before you commence with the testing. Yeah, um, that's uh, the, the main uh, another message that we would also like to pass uh, here. So uh, that's that's all I have to say here on the slide. Okay, that's the one that we have opened. So now moving on to the the next couple of months. So there, uh, uh, the first uh, functionality which we are planning to open uh, soon. Yeah, which would be next week already. That would be the corporate action uh, testing. Uh, so here again, uh, the scope uh, uh, we, we would uh, still open partially. Uh, for starting from the uh, 29th of January, you will be able to start testing the corporate action functionality, but then uh, partially. Yeah. So here, this is what you see in the scope uh, to the left hand side of this uh, slide. So you see the scope that's going to be opened um, as from 29th of January. So we open and the basic mandatory uh, corporate action testing, which has been tested by the um, uh, NCBs uh, yeah, here in the internal environment. So, and hence, uh, if they are all successful, uh, the NCB, you know, at your side will also give the green light for this uh, um, testing scope. Yeah. So when I go detailed into the scope, so first part, uh, you see the events, five events. So um, the basic one, so uh, interest payments, redemption, partial redemption, uh, early, uh, yeah. Uh, early redemption and things like this uh, so are going to be opened. And then with respect to the scenarios, again, we have uh, uh, given here the reception. So notification, basically, it's a corporate action notification and announcement, corporate action and advice, and then corporate action confirmation. Yeah, so those three scenarios uh, uh, are what we have uh, focused uh, in the last uh, couple of months uh, on, on testing for the corporate action. And that's uh, something that we would like to now uh, also open to the community. Okay, so this is the plan for the 29th of January, and uh, when the remaining uh, LM, uh, remaining functional domain uh, on the corporate action will be opened. So here, this is currently planned to be opened on the 26th of uh, February. That's uh, next month. Next month, yeah. The testing is still ongoing here, so we want to stabilize it and then would like to open it to the community uh, as from 29th, 26th of uh, February. Again, uh, as I stated in the previous. Uh, no, slide so for all the domains uh, the the details uh, the restrictions if there is any there are any open issues known issues uh, uh, all these information they are there in the testing conditions document yeah and uh, we also uh, request advise you to um, uh, 
alliance with your uh, NCB counterpart to uh, uh, get the green light before you start the testing on this uh, functional uh, area. Yeah, that's all I have to say on the corporate action. Thank you. Then if we go to the next uh, domain, which we are also uh, critical uh, functional domain, which we are also focusing now uh, is, is the monetary policy operation testing. So uh, here, uh, as I said in the first slide on the user testing, so on the marginal ending on request and the automatic uh, marginal ending, they are uh, uh, they are open, yeah, ready. Uh, but then we still have uh, open market operations that are to uh, to be opened uh, for testing for the community. So here, uh, what is the plan? Is is uh, currently the testing is ongoing, uh, and the plan is to open the uh, uh, monetary policy. So, open market operations testing yeah with the tender operations module yeah uh, this is planned to be uh, uh, from 20th of uh, february 2024 that's again uh, next uh, uh, month and here again i would like to mention that uh, uh, not all the uh, open market operations are planned to be opened as from 20th of february but only uh, the ones that we have successfully tested uh, and where uh, it's quite stable then those are all the uh, operations that we will be opening to the uh, community for the testing as from 20th of february and the details of these operations that we will be opening yeah we will uh, bring these information uh, in the testing conditions document yeah like how we will allow, like how we said for the corporate action in the previous slide similarly we will go into the details of the scope that's going to be open and from when you can test this and what you can uh, test and what are all the restrictions with their limitations all these information we will bring uh, in the testing conditions document that's going to be that's uh, being published uh, uh, on a fortnightly basis okay so this is uh, what uh, on, on this slide okay so now that we have focused on the corporate action the monetary policy operation we still have uh, other uh, domains yeah subdomains or domains functional domains to be open to the counterparties to the community so where do we stand there so uh the, if you see here in this uh, slide so we still have uh, market capital assets and the credit claims so big portion of credit claim it's still yet to come for testing uh for the community and then the tri-party um, uh, agent functionality pool position and projections and um, provision of reference data to the t2s and the gpa um, statements and reports yeah so those um, uh, domains uh, functional domains are also currently being uh, actively uh, tested and uh, the uh, objective is also to open uh, these domains yeah what i stated here up until statements and reports and also uh, the plan is to open this as from 26th of february 2024 yeah, uh, of course, uh, I, I repeat this again and again. So uh, please wait also for the green light from your uh, NCBs before you start the testing on, on these um, uh, domains. Okay, so that's uh, uh, the date or the plan for uh, the domains up until statements and reports for billing and uh, and then for the testing of the multiple uh, distinguished uh, names so here um the planning is still ongoing and we will uh come back to you uh through the testing testing conditions document we will come back to you with uh, the timeline on when uh the billing and the uh the dns yeah um this uh, functionality could be tested okay and then the last point which was also mentioned by bobby uh in the introductory slide for the uts on the gsd associate cosine desktop so here um, yeah, we really advise the, the community to um, install the, the latest software. Yeah, so this is a new version. Uh, and then the, the, the client is basically available also for you to download. And the link is also there in the testing conditions document for you to uh, download. So we um, here we advise uh, now the community to install this yeah uh, new version and then the testing as such the testing uh, plan is to uh, start this nro so non repudiation of origin in the nro uh, the testing is planned to be started from uh, 18th of march yeah so 2024 so this is uh, the plan for the um, you know the fund domains uh, the remaining domains and and the dates uh, yeah this is the plan so this is um, 
the full uh, with this slide we would have uh, we have covered all the functional domains and the plan uh, of when this will be available for the counterparties uh, testing and here in this last slide on the ut for the ut so here we have given uh, the current uh, status of uh, the different uh, testing and the migration documents yeah so uh, the documents that are published normally they are available in the acp website under the uh, the, the link for you professional use so you can go in there and, and check for the latest published uh, version um, and then uh, recently we published also the info pack um, the strategy uh, to all these and then the user testing terms of reference for the pre-production environment so all these uh, fundamental test cases yeah these documents were updated and then published uh, recently uh, and the testing conditions document as you know that this is some this is some this is a document that is constantly updated and published uh, on a fortnightly basis in the ncb website uh, uh, clearly highlighting the the limitations restrictions and the focus and the scope that's available for the uh, counterparties testing yeah so um this is uh, this is it so that's it that's all i have to say from my side on the uh, user testing uh, aspects so now um, over to you uh, elin Thank you, Ramini. Excellent. Thanks for this. Thank so you. we're having a lot of questions come in for you, but I think a lot of them are actually already answered, but maybe we just need to reiterate a few of them, Bobby. So uh, uh, there's a few questions again, but I mean, you just said it now, but can you say it again on the testing condition document? Uh, people are asking, will this continuously be updated all the way through uh, the, the testing phase? I guess the answer is yes, Bobby, but, but you know, can you please stress this yeah yeah the answer is yes elaine and the answer is very regularly so it really is like i said it's the bible it's very important it will also be um it will also include the 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 various uh uh, uh the, the version of the nro that you need the version of the assertio go, go sign desktop the most important thing here is to keep an eye on the the we have not opened it up yet when we open it up the current uh, version that we're talking about is the 6.90.20. This, of course, is not updated yet uh, uh, from our side, but before we open it up, we will be up we will be updating this. Yeah, we're working on this. The colleagues are testing this internally already, so uh, you can be sure that when we open it up, it will be all of the documentation will be ready for you. So the key here, exactly as Bamini said, if you look on the the ECB website, these documents will be constantly updated. The most important ones really for the testing is the, the testing conditions document and for our uh, migration, which Anna Issa will discuss, is the info pack. And these are these will these will continuously be updated. Yeah. So uh, that's the that's the main questions I think that we've had related to NRO, the main questions that we've had related to the update of the documents. So maybe what we could do, um, I don't know, uh, there have been some messages related to messaging. I think maybe Flora could take the floor on that one. If, if Is that okay, Flora? Sure, yes, yes, Bobby, thank you. So there were um, there was one question related to SEM002, whether the structure is available, and then I would like to confirm that uh, it, it, it is already in the software and it was also published in the catalog of messages, so you can check. And we also have checked whether um, our change request that we are, have implemented, uh, which follows the, the ISO upgrades, whether it impacts this, and then it seems it's not. So, so please rely on what is available. And uh, there was another question whether the counterparties, whether the counterparties will uh, use the corporate action um, mess, the score corporate action messaging. And then here, here the answer is that we have implemented score, so ECMS is aligned to score, and then it's reflected in our messages as published in the message catalog, in the catalog of messages. And then, of course, there is a difference if you're U2A or A2A, or if counterpart is U2A or A2A. But like, yes, if, if somebody would like to communicate A2A and using these uh, messages, we are score compliant and so should be the counterparty. Thank you. Thank you, Flora. So I think that covered a few of them. Um, Bobby, do you want to stress a deadline again? There was somebody asking about the um, what is the deadline for completing uh, all the the user tests? If that, so I think you know, I think maybe the the, the 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 participant there who asked that might have been talking about our our 
our mandatory test cases or, you know, something like that. Yep. So this is not, uh, I think they mentioned it was April. This is certainly not the case. So uh, you, you must liaise with your NCP. You must ask them uh, exactly what the deadline is. But of course, we have rescheduled. So there is no compunction on anyone to have the, the, the test cases done by by April. Yeah. Now, the only thing here is uh, the other question that we had about the NRO, which was an important one. They wanted to know, is there different versions on the target services, different target services? But of course not. We, it will be a uniform it will be a uniform version across the target services. Nobody needs to have one version of the GoSign desktop uh, to run one service and not to run another. It will be, uh, it will of course be the uniform version across the target services. But please pay attention to the qualified configurations document. Please pay attention to the testing conditions document. These will both uh, include uh, uh, the updates on the NRO.